Let's make some plant-based carrot cake bars. Welcome back to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill and today we're gonna make these delicious carrot cake bars. So we're gonna hop right in. First thing we're gonna do, I have a cup and a half of oats, rolled oats, that we're gonna make into flour. And it's always best to just make your own flour. It's so much more affordable than having oat flour on hand because you're always gonna have those oats. So we're just gonna blitz it really quick just to make a kind of coarse grit flour. Okay, there we go. Put that in your bowl. So if you want the full recipe with all of the ingredients, there'll be a link in the details below. All right, now we're gonna add, I have one teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, and one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of baking soda. We're just gonna whisk these together just to get out any of the clumps from that baking soda or baking powder. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to do the wet ingredients. So I have a half a cup of deglet dates, and we don't have to rinse this off at all. It's all going in the same place, so that's not even necessary. A half cup of soy milk, and this is an unsweetened soy milk, but you can use whatever plant milk you like. And a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're just gonna blend that until those dates are completely pulverized. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series, are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, we're just gonna pour that in there. And I already have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. All right, now for the other ingredients. So I have a cup and a half of shredded carrots, a half cup of crushed or just finely diced pineapple, that's gonna give out a really nice, sweet, but kind of tart little punch. And then a half a cup of chopped walnuts. And that's completely optional. If you wanna make it nut-free, go ahead. All right, we're gonna stir this up now. And it's a very, very thick mixture. Because once those carrots go into the oven, they're gonna start releasing their juices. So you don't wanna to have too much liquid in there to start with, or it will just be a soppy mess in the oven. But you wanna get this mixed really well so you don't have any clumps of oat flour or anything like that in there. Okay, and I already have a brownie pan here that I've lined just the bottom with a piece of parchment paper or you could do it in a round, that's fine too. Whatever dish you have, but it needs to be about that measurement so that you can get bars that are about an inch and a half thick. Okay, so in the, to the pan they go. This is really a great recipe, especially because it's, you know, summer is upon us. I mean, it's still officially spring, but you know, just for those summer afternoons when you just want a little, a little something sweet, something a little bit lighter. This is a great thing to have on hand. And they're super filling. All right, there we go. And just smooth the top really well. All right, so now they're gonna go into the oven for 35 minutes. Okay, now onto the frosting. So this is gonna be 
kind of like a cream cheese frosting, but of course no cream cheese. We're gonna use cashews. This, this is one cup of cashews that I've soaked for about three hours. Toss that in there. I have a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a tablespoon of lemon juice, a quarter of a cup of dates, and a half cup of water. And we are just gonna blend this until it's really silky and smooth. So you wanna test that. You run it for a little while, test it by squishing it between your fingers a little bit. And if you feel any grittiness to those cashews, you wanna keep on blending. There's no denying the plant-based diet is a nutrient powerhouse, but did you know there are a handful of hard-to-get nutrients even well-crafted diets are often lacking? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why my daily health routine includes Complement Essential. Complement Essential contains the eight critical nutrients lacking from most plant-based diets and dosages optimized specifically for us. Plus, Complement is completely transparent about ingredients sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use code PLANTBASEDEASY at checkout to save 15% off of your order. Okay, let's check this out. See how we're smooth enough? Ooh, perfect. Silky and smooth. Okay, so once the cake is done, we're going to let the cake uh, cool for about 15 to 20 minutes and then put the frosting on. All right, we're gonna wait. Okay, it is done and thoroughly cooled. Come on in and take a look. Oh, and that smells so good. All right, let's frost this guy. All right. So it's up to you how much of the frosting you use. You can always save that and put it on each individual slice if you want more, or you can just put all of it on there at the same time. All right, I'm gonna finish frosting this and then I'll meet you at the table for a taste. Okay, let's try these guys out. Mm -hmm -hmm. They smell so delicious. Can't wait to dig into this. Look at that, you can see the pineapple chunks and the carrots still, still there. Mm. Mmm. Delicious. Alright, come on back next week for another great recipe.